Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning, Miss. Today we are going to learn what to do when we are stuck on a math question. So let's begin with some additional questions. Okay, the question three. What is 55 plus 60? So firstly, we add the numbers in one column. What is five plus five? Ten. Very good. So it should be 10 outside, and we put the zero in the one column. What is three plus one? Four. Very good. Four plus one from ten outside is? Five. Very good. So, 35 plus 50 will be 50. Does everyone understand? Yes. Yes. Does anyone want to try a question? Yes, I want to try one. Okay, Freddie will try this question. What is 13 plus 27? So, first to start, what is 3 plus 7? 3 plus 7. After 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10. Very good. So where do we, what do we do with the 10? Well, for the zero and the one color, we need mm -hmm. one out for now. Very good. So now we say, what is one plus two? One plus two, three. And then from the one outside, we get four. So your answer is, 40. Very good. So when we are adding two numbers, the answer is usually larger than the number that we began with. Does everyone understand? Yes, miss. Yes. Yes, miss. So now we can try a question, a subtraction question. This question, this is different because now we are taking away from the bigger number. The answer will be smaller. So, what is 25 minus 50? So, firstly, we begin in one column. What is 5 minus 5? Zero. Very good. So, we put the zero in one column. What is 2 minus 1? One. 1. Very good. So, the answer is 10. Does anyone want to try one on their own? No one? Okay, we will this one together also. So, 10 minus 9. You have 10 fingers. So, if you take away 9, you'll have... Count on your fingers. 10, 9, 8, 7... Six, five, four, three, two, one. So 10 minus nine is? One. Very one. good. Now, we're going to try a little harder question. The tree, we're going to add three numbers. Okay? So the Okay, I'm going to do some worded questions now. So the question reads, Wendy's mother baked 12 cupcakes. Wendy then ate three cupcakes. How many cupcakes are left? So first we need to look for the key words. So, Wendy's mother baked 12 cupcakes. Therefore, there are 12 cupcakes in total. Wendy then ate three cupcakes. So three cupcakes were eaten. The question asks, how many cupcakes are left? 
the keyword is left. When you're reading a question and you see the word left or remain, this usually means you have to subtract to find the answer. So, if this started off with 12 subjects, and when you ate three, you have to take away three from 12. So on the screen, you can see there are 12 cupcakes and remove, we remove three cupcakes. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cupcakes in there. So there were nine cupcakes left. Does everyone understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, miss. So now we're going to try the next question, which is similar. Does anyone want to try this question? I'll do this one, miss. Okay, very good. Can you read the question or would you like me to read the question? I would read it. Okay. A vendor has 30 oranges to sell. He sells 10 oranges. How many oranges are left? Very good. So what are the keywords that you are looking for? The keywords in this is left. This means to subtract. Very good. What is the total number of oranges he had in the beginning? The total number he has is 30 oranges. Very good. And how many oranges did he sell? He sold 10 oranges. Very good. So you have to take away 10 from 30. When we take away 10 from 30, mm -hmm. we get 20 oranges left because 3 minus 1 is 2. So we get 0. 0 minus 1 is 0. So then 2 and 0 makes 20. Very good. Now let's try a harder question with more numbers. Luke caught 13 fishes, Oliver caught 26 fishes, and John caught 16 fishes. How many fishes did they catch all together? So, remember what we said at the beginning of class. When you add numbers, the answer is larger than the numbers we began with. It is also important to pay attention to the keywords which talk about addition. The word all together is used when there's an addition problem to indicate that you should add up all the numbers, in this case, fishes. So. Luke caught 13 fishes, Oliver caught 26 fishes, and John caught 15 fishes. So we add them in the count. So what is 3 plus 6? Nine. Very good. And what is nine plus five? Fourteen. Very good. So we put the fourteen outside and we put the four in the ones column. Now, what is one plus two? Three. And what is three plus one? Four. Is that the final answer? Mm -hmm. Is it We forgot to add the one on the outside over here. So let me see what is four plus one. Five. Very good. So therefore, the answer is fifty-four. Mm -hmm. so you always remember to add the one that is on the outside. Let's try one more question. Does anyone want to try a question? Yeah, we can try this in a moment. So I'll read it. Jessica has 13 marbles and Sarah has 27. How many marbles did they have all together? So, so Albert, what are the keywords here? Albert, what are the keywords in this, here, this sentence? Does anyone want to help him? Albert. 
is all together. This means to add. Yes, right. So we have to add the 13. We have to add 13 and 27. Right? So let's start with the ones column. So Mandy, what, what do we have to add in the ones column? Plus seven. Which is 10. Right. Three add seven is 10. So we have to take out the zero and leave it in the ones column, right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. okay. And Abby, what do we have to do for the tens column now? We have to add two and one and the one outside. Good. And the one outside. So two plus one plus another one is equal to four. Yes. So the total answer will be? Forty. Forty. Good. So Very 40 good. marbles. Very good. Do you all understand how to add and subtract? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Remember, when you're doing these questions, look out for the keywords so you will know when to add and when to subtract. Okay? Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Bye.